Diving with sharks may seem dangerous, but it is truly a spiritual experience. Overfishing sharks can have effects in cascade that can ultimately affect the corals themselves. Sharks are on the top of very complex food chains. So shark eat groupers that in turn eat parrot fish that in turn eat algae. If we remove the sharks, the groupers may increase in abundance. And if the groupers increase, then the fishes that they eat, the parrot fish, may decrease. So by removing the sharks, we might be reducing the abundance of these parrot fishes that graze on algae. When there are sharks around, there are no dead fish floating around, there is no organic waste, and there is no food left for the microbes to thrive. So the sharks ensure that the system is very, very efficient and clean. The main Hawaiian islands are an example of impacted coral reefs by a series of factors, for example, overfishing that reduces the fish populations and pollution by nutrients from pineapple farms and from human wastewater that enhance the growth of microbes and the overgrowth of corals by seaweed, transforming what was previously a coral reef into a seaweed farm. The remote and protected northwest Hawaiian archipelago harbors coral reefs which are much healthier than those of the main Hawaiian islands, basically because there is no overfishing and there is no pollution from the land. We know from a small marine reserves that if we protect against fishing, the target species are going to come back. But a small marine reserve may not ensure the recovery of the entire ecosystem. So if the goal of conservation is to reverse the trajectory of degradation and to recover an entire ecosystem, we need to think at an ecosystem scale. And an ecosystem is not just a few hectares or a few square kilometers. An ecosystem is something of the scale of an archipelago, like the Northwest Hawaiian Islands.